Hello everybody, here is an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Reverb from Virgin Mobile USA. And uh, this is leaning towards a high-end device, at least for Virgin Mobile. Um, it has a, let's see if I can get it in the camera there, um, it has a 4-inch touchscreen, which is one of their bigger ones, 5 megapixel camera, 1.4 gigahertz processor, uh, which is the biggest processor in a Virgin Mobile phone, I believe, and 3G, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 4.0. Um, and again, you get your unlimited web data, messaging, and email on all plans, starting at $35 a month. So here you can see, here's the phone. It's got the little dip there, like the droid... Uh, bionic, maybe? One of, the, one of the droids had that. Um, and again, it talks about the same specs. Uh, let's see. Anything interesting on the box? Um, this is a Galaxy phone, as you can see up there. Um, usually pretty good quality phones come out of the Galaxy line. Um, it does have mobile ID where you can customize your, um, <laughs> well, you can customize your, um, screens and stuff. Uh, special Sprint Virgin Mobile way. Um, and then preloaded apps, not many, probably pretty stock Android experience here. Um, got Google Maps, Gmail, Google Search, YouTube Navigation, and Google Talk. And of course there's the Google Play Store, you can always download as many other apps as you want. Um, and then there, it runs on the nationwide 3G Sprint Network, of course, like all other Virgin Mobile handsets. So let us unbox this. So it got the typical Virgin Mobile box. Fully charged battery before calling your provider to activate your phone. Alright, uh, so it sounds like we probably won't be getting too much of a charge in this thing. I hope it doesn't wreck it to start it right away because I'm not going to charge it before I turn it on. I won't activate it yet, but... Alright. Come on here. We'll get this out and see how big of a battery it is. Alright. Um, well, 6.46 watt hours. So I believe that's... Actually, I really don't know. 1700 milliamp hours. There we go. Alright. Perfect. So it's not huge, but... It's uh, a little bigger than the average, at least for, again, Virgin Mobile's phones. And it looks like we have a box that doesn't want to open, which is fine. Um, and a piece of paper. A bag to recycle your old phone. Uh, just send it back to them in this for free. Just put it in the bag and plop it in the mail. Um, and then we have phone insurance, uh, if you want that. And terms uh, and conditions. And we've got a manual, it looks like, basics guide for the phone, if you want that. And, of course, the USB cable, USB charging cable that hooks into the standard Galaxy Samsung um, wall mount. And then uh, this has, for a good time, call Sir Richard. The last uh, phone I reviewed actually had that as well. 646-587-4844. So try calling Sir Richard. I tried calling Sir Richard, and he answered. It sounded like he was in a bar, and it was just some guy that was confused I was calling. So not quite sure why his number's on the inside of all these uh, phones, because it was on someone else's who reviewed uh, the Kyocera Rise as well. So interesting. Um, so give it a call. Let me know if you find anything out. All right, well, here's the phone. Uh, it's a nice fit in your hand, 4.0 inch screen. Um, this is a little bigger than uh, than the usual on a prepaid Virgin Mobile. Um, let's see if I can open this and get the battery in. Huh, fancy. Um, there we go. Uh, let's see. Interesting. What is that? Oh, that's the speaker. Of course. Is it on? 
Uh, it's one of those chintzy feeling covers, but what do you do? Um, you've got an external micro SD card slot, which is empty, so you'll need to buy your own SD card if you want one. I'm assuming it has enough memory to <laughs> get you through. Um, it's got a camera button and power. You've got your headphone jack. Let's turn it on while we're talking here. And you've got the volume rockers, and this is not sticking in now. There we go. And then on the bottom, we've got our micro USB charging port. And on the back, it's a nice, sleek design with a little bit of a rough feel. And you can see we have a 5 megapixel camera with a flash. And I suppose we could take this off. Start this thing up. I'm not sure any of the other specs and what's on the box. I'll look those up and have them for the review. But um, it's the first Galaxy phone to come on uh, Virgin Mobile. And I'm just looking at the screen. The screen looks really nice. Um, you can't see the pixels like on a lot of other Virgin Mobile smartphones. Um, looks like you have a couple options here to unlock. Camera, web, and phone. And then I'm guessing just unlock. Yep. Alright, I don't need to know how to get started. Very nice, very smooth. Very smooth, and nice transitions. Maybe it's not stock Android after all. Um, got the apps, and the widgets. Um, let's just check out what version of Android it is here. Before we sign off, about device. <laughs> it's not going to be in there, is it? Whoops. There's only three buttons. Menu, Home, Back. Okay, Android 4.0.4. .4. Good. Um, yep, look, look, ugh, looks like that's about it. Alright, good. So, this is an Android uh, ice cream sandwich phone. Um, Galaxy Reverb, people. Um, I'll look for a review in about a week from now. Um, again, some people complain about uh, me taking a while to, uh, too long for their taste to get the review out. Well, I'm sorry, but um, <clears throat> for it to be a good review, I need to actually use the phone for a while to see how the battery life lasts, because one day is not a good sample. Um, to see how the phone performs and maybe changes over the over the course of a week and um, just in general to get a feel of how the device runs and uh, anyone who says I give only the negatives on some phones uh, that's not true I guarantee you there are positives in all my reviews and negatives um, I'm here to give a review an accurate review so you know before you buy the phone I'm not here to sell you on a certain phone that I have bought so that being said the review will be next week, I'm assuming. Alright, thanks for watching.